I'm Sai Dhan. Welcome back to my channel, Sai Dhan. In today's video, to compare the Battlegrounds or mobile gameplay between the IQ7 vs Mi11 device, Snapdragon 870 vs the Snapdragon 888 processor. Let's see, friends, which phone has got what type of default graphic settings in it, and which phone is. Uh, has got better kind of options while gaming that is what i'm going to show you and compare side by side so let's see friends which phone has got better uh, what type of ram and both phones i'm trying to use a 8 gb ram variant models only both phones right now which i'm having only 8 gb ram variant as you can see friends only 8 gb so i did install the bgmi gameplay in both phones so let's see how much temperature will be increasing and how much battery will be decrease, uh, decreasing during this kind of test normal testing so this is not the complete battery draining test which i am going to do this is the basic kind of test which i just want to do so right now the battery percentage in this iq7 is of 79 percent as you can see in the mi11 device is of close to i think i want to show you 57 right now only decreased to 57 percent as you can see friends so by default both games will not be added into the game space and in uh, so now we got the both phones uh, opened with the game. So I did add into the game turbo and I also added into the ultra game mode in the IQ sound device. As you can see friends clearly, both phones are added. So first let's explore which phone has got what type of uh, settings. So let's check the battery uh, temperature right now. Phone temperature 36 degrees as you can see, 36 degrees. And it is 34 degrees in the IQ sound device. So I just thought of comparing both phones in the, the temperature first. So the settings in the Snapdragon 888 processor right now we are getting only smooth and extreme. The phone has got 120 hertz refresh rate. But still there is only smooth and extreme options as you can see friends clearly and ultra hd i think ultra hd and ultra is available during this time time of testing so i'll try to use with only the smooth and extreme settings only during this time of testing i'll not i'll not try to use more that's another thing let me try to play only the normal mode which is the team that match so not the classic game which i want to play because classic game takes a lot of time uh, to play continuously but the team that match is a really quick match which i particularly like let me need to start later on in this phone first let's try in the snapdragon triple eight processor how well this phone will be able to perform and the brightness i'm trying to use maybe close to 60 percentage not much so it should be kind of okay i guess in terms of the brightness as well so it should not cause any much issues let's see how is the, this is my first time playing the game in the snapdragon triple eight processor friends first time so yes so just today all i did install the battlegrounds mobile gameplay in this phone The display is really great in this phone, particularly I did like, which is really big display. So which is very good for the watching movies, particularly friends, this is really great display. Quad HD display and you're getting the curved display. Wow, that's fantastic playing this game in this phone. First kill, first time, first match in this phone and that's perfect. That's good, not bad. Not bad in this phone. Just I am not that pro level gamer friend, so just as a basic gamer only, normal type gamer, not that kind of pro level gamer. So I can definitely accept that kind of things. So the gaming is really great in the Snapdragon triplet processor. Nothing much difference. I can, I'll try to do the Genshin Impact gameplay comparison as well in case if you want me to do Genshin Impact Snapdragon Triplet processor versus the Snapdragon 870 chipset which I can definitely perform as soon as possible. I'll try to see when I can do that video for you all. So let's move to the next device which is IQ7 smartphone. So during this time of gameplay only 36 from 36 degrees it remained only 36 as you can see. It did not increase much. So IQ7 which we already knew about this phone so there is nothing much more to talk. So in terms of the, I forgot to mention, sorry friends I forgot to mention uh, which is the game turbo options where you have here. So FPS meter and you can see the real time GPU and the CPU which is really good. So I wish they could have included some, some kind of mechanism to have the floating FPS meter real time. So there's a default another one as well I, if you want i can add that one but i want from the game turbo from the developer options you can do that you can add real-time fps meter as you can see friends overall the it looks really good playing in this phone That's really good. So not, not much complaints I can give at this point. And let's move to the next phone is IQ7 device. In terms of the IQ7 smartphone, the IQ7 device. 
So what I like in the IQ7 device, in terms of the IQ7 there is not much of 4D vibrations so or there is no voice changes. When you swipe, you don't get any kind of voice changes option, but you do get the voice changes in that M11 device. In the Snapdragon Triple Eight process, you you can get the voice changer option in this M11 device particularly. Let me show you. If you try to go here, there is a voice changer as you can see. The voice changer option as you can see when clearly which is kind of really useful in the MI11 device so which is also present in the other MI Linux device and other uh, mobile phones basically so just today only i did a video on the battery draining test so make sure to check this video friends that will give you the clear idea this video which is on my own page in case if you are looking to for the battery draining details you can watch that video As you can see, the gameplay is really good in both phones. No problem in, even in the Snapdragon Triplet processor as well. It's really great in the Snapdragon Triplet processor. I need to do the side by side speed test comparison while playing games. So stay tuned for those videos in case if you're interested. I can do those kind of comparisons for you. As you can see, friends, overall the gameplay is really good in this phone. Both phones, not bad. So you can see I did finish the, my guns and right now the temperatures are around same 35 degrees nothing much increased during this type of time of normal gameplay at all for all so let's move to the next phone is which is a uh, ml release obviously friends the snapdragon triplet processor i did expect it's kind of 90 fps but maybe the next update with the official stable update we might be able to get that kind of features i think 90 fps option so right now i did not see any kind of 90 fps at this point so unfortunately, if there is 90 FPS in both phones, that would be really great to have. But at least we got this kind of real-time FPS meter, which is fantastic in the MLN device, where you can actually enjoy the real-time CPU and the GPU performance. I'll try to compare side by side with the MI Linux as well, in case if you want me to do this kind of comparison, CPU and the GPU, which phone is utilizing what kind of CPU and the GPU in various scenarios. I can do that video for you all. So thank you for watching this video, friends, and I'll see you in the next video. And stay tuned for more updates. Until then. Right now, let me tell you so the battery percentage 54 percentage from 57 degrees to 54. And IQ7 right now 77 as you can see. So thank you for watching and seeing the next video friends. Until then stay tuned for more updates. Bye.